Okay, Tracy here, and I have a, another scrapbook layout in process for you. Three Boys in a Wedding is the title, and my papers, I'm going to use this white background that came from the Studio Calico kit. Love that paper. The video obviously can't show the detail of it. It's um, really uh, bright, or um, textured. Uh, it is very bright white, <laughs> but the what I love about it is the the texture of it. Um, and then I'm using um, the uh, black and white uh, sort of chevron one is Amy Tangerine Ready Set Go to do list. It's called, and the blue paper is. Uh, Studio Calico Atlantic Montauk and uh, that uh, photo overlay that's um, Create Paper DIY shop that's a package of four and it came with 14 overlays I got it in the Citrus Twist kit and I've been struggling trying to figure out how am I going to use those and I really like the way I used it in this layout Okay, so I have those papers layered, and um, I decided I wanted sort of a taped down look um, for the um, layout, and I am going to go with that spot with the tape, but I'm gonna, or a uh, washi tape, but I'm going to use a different washi tape. That blue one with the gold swirl in it is, um, it's too dark. So I do switch that up, but, and then that, um, paper that I just cut out, that fiber, it's almost like a fabric. It's kind of between a fabric and a paper that is, um, Jolie's Boutique. And I got a few rolls of that at Marshall's. That was a nice find. Um, I believe that is the washi I end up going with. I don't have the layout in front of me. And this, uh, that's the sequins. That's, um, uh, Studio Calico sequins dots. It doesn't say the Atlantic collection on it, but I think it is part of that Atlantic collection. Okay, I'm going to outline with my watercolors that I got at, um, Aaron Brothers. Oh, I am. Oh, that's right. I realized, oh, I want to outline these papers. So I had to pull them up and then put them back down. I'm using the silver, the sort of, there's three silvers in, well, really kind of four silvers. Um, one's sort of a white, but I was, here I am sort of playing with ways to get um, splatter onto the page. Um, and I end up going with my standard tool painting brush that I have there and then the end of the brush. Um, anyway, so I was going to say is that this layout is very simple for me, at least. It's a very simple layout. I don't add a whole lot of embellishment. And I, the way I did it, um, I really was wanting that picture to take center stage. A lot of times I, I put a lot of embellishments and a lot of stuff on a page, and I feel like I end up sort of losing the paper, which I mean the picture, which I don't mind because I think all of the scrapbooking materials and stuff are so beautiful and I do like to um, have them be highlighted most of the time. I, I like that. Um, of course, I mean the main thing always I want to be the picture, but um, you know, sometimes I think I end up the picture competes with all of the embellishments and on this one I really love this picture with my boys and their ties and and they're all in the blue matching shirts um, and so I just decided to keep this one real simple and I'm putting that um, playing around with different pieces of Sequins, so I'm using the sequins from uh, Studio Calico, and then I have that um, 
container there and that has a bunch of sequins that I got at the, in the Etsy shop and unfortunately I put them all together in one thing there, one little container and it is quite a pain in the neck. But I didn't really have a good way to keep them all separate so now as I'm starting to get a little more sequins I think I will definitely keep them separate. I mess around with that the pin idea there but I don't go with it. And here I put some Studio Calico gems there, the opaque package. And now I'm going to use this Jelly Bean Soup Corrugated Words and I'm gonna, I got the word joy there. I'm going to paint it white, Magnolia White craft paint. And I did that because I'm going to also watercolor it and the watercolor would have gotten lost on the going straight onto the craft paper. So the white underneath helps uh, give it something to shine on. Also it helps with absorbing too because the craft creates sort of a barrier, the craft paint creates sort of a barrier in between the craft paper and the watercolor paper. So Joy is going to go down there in the corner eventually. And I'm going to work on my title here, which I go with those lullaby foam stickers for the word boys. And I'm looking through my book. I kind of struggle here with finding. I was going to do little letters there. That's why I had the little E, but I only had one small D, so I had to go with all caps. And those are K and Company. Um, Life's Little Occasions letters. I got those a long time ago at, I believe I got them at Big Lots. I guess that could be wrong. I could have gotten them actually at Michael's, but it was a long time ago. But they are Kane Company, Life's Little Occasions. And now I'm doing and A in Lily B Designs coordinates. And that's that. It's a huge sheet of um, different letters, different colored. Now I'm going to test for a background to something to anchor my title. I didn't, again, I wanted this very simple, so that's why I went with watercolor to anchor it. You know, just a little bit, nothing loud, nothing, and, um, so I used the silver, and then there's a blue in that watercolor that I used, so, and it worked out as exactly what I wanted. Love when that happens. And by the way, you're seeing me use my zap gun to dry. I do that quite often when I don't want to wait for it to dry, air dry. And my title, Three Boys and a Wedding. The three is sentiment foil letters, thickers. I play with the joy for a second there. And then I'm going to put a little Studio Calico gem on it. And I'm going to add some gems with to go along with the uh, sequins and my little splatter. And that's it. Now you can see the texture of the paper. I really love that paper. So it's a very simple layout. And I got it done in, I think it was even under an hour. Um, that's amazing for me. I never, ever get my layouts done that fast. Um, anyway, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.